Today is Sunday, the 5th of July, 2020. This is a Health One video for the new version of Health One that will be distributed shortly. That is 8.7.4.2681. And I'm going to talk in this video about some chronic disease management changes we've made, mainly around allowing phone reviews. As you will know, from the 1st of July, 2020, it is possible until the 31st of December, at least, to do your chronic disease management consultations by telephone. The other change that's been made is that it will apply to all patients, GMS patients over the age of 70, where it was 75. The fees for these uh, submissions would be 55 euro per submission uh, for one condition, uh, 65 for two and 75 euro for three uh, diseases. The full annual fee is 210 for two submissions. And for the rest of this year, if you do a full submission, it'll be 105, that is for the submission remaining this year. To check your version of Health One, click on Help and About, and you will see I have 8.7.4.2681. As I said earlier, this will be distributed to all users over the coming days or weeks. I have a patient file open. Mr. Test, he is age 71, that is, he's greater than 70 and under 75, and we have a new consultation. I'm going to call the Chronic Disease Management Mediform. This patient hasn't been registered in Health One yet, and Health One has found that he has diabetes, so I just click OK to register him in Health One. Now the form comes up. And the only difference between the existing form and this one is that we have a checkbox here called phone review. So for normal consultation, you don't touch it. The form is exactly the same as it always was. And you have multiple mandatory fields here, which are uh, denoted by red exclamation marks. There are 37 required fields to be filled in in this. In order to fill this in completely, we have uh, uh, other videos to do this, which are all available from within Health One and from the HRUG website. For the purposes of this video, I'll do a phone review. So I'll tick the checkbox. And as you can see, many of the mandatory fields have disappeared, such that we have only 11 fields required. We have mandatory fields, as we can see in red here, in the physical examination, the risk factors. The disease assessment, there are no more mandatory fields in our investigations, and there are some mandatory fields in this section. Just a small point about the weight. The weight is mandatory, but you're unable to do the weight in a phone review. So if it wasn't a phone review, this weight would have to be filled in on the day. But because it's a phone review, we allow you to take the weight that was done in the past 12 months in order to calculate the body mass index. So Health One will take that date, that weight. Physical examination, has he an amputation? No. Uh, this is not required. This is required. Retinal screening? Yes. So now all my physical examinations are complete here and I go to risk factors. So because his BMI is still high, I'll give him some advice over the phone regarding his weight. I'll fill in his smoking pattern over the phone. I'll do his order C score over the phone. He's had two drinks and he doesn't ever have more than eight drinks. Has he had an influenza vaccine? Uh, yes, and he had this on the 12th of December, 2019, for example. Has he had a pneumococcal uh, vaccine? No. Uh, there's no cardiovascular risk score to be done here. Uh, so I'm going to go straight to um, down here to have I not filled one in in a typical week how many days physical activity this one here five to seven days I saw that was red here and I hadn't finished it now I have so the disease assessment investigations I don't have to fill these in at all during the phone consultation I go to medication review I do the medication review I say I've done it today. I'm the person who did it, and I can have a look at his medication here as with the normal form. Education was provided by the GP. He wasn't referred to education program, and he declined. If 
written in KDF plan. So all my fields, required fields are now done. I can submit them from here or I can submit them from the uh, dashboard at a later date. In this case, I'll just save, I won't submit. So my consultation over the phone is now done. We have also made some changes to the dashboard in this version. Most of them are bug fixes that allow you to submit in a better way. But also we have changed the submit status here slightly to allow you to submit, or uh, not to submit, but to filter by incomplete or not submitted. So incomplete uh, patients means exactly that. The um, form hasn't been filled up fully yet. So you get a list of these and you can go into each of them and fill them up if you need to. So that allows you then to have the not submitted are those that need to be submitted but are complete. So that gives you just an extra filter there. To summarize, this short video is relating to uh, chronic disease management changes in the next version of Health One, 8.7.4.2681 or higher than that, where uh, the chronic disease management can now be done by telephone and also it applies to over 70 years, not just over 75 years. That's the end of this recording. Thank you.